Tiger Lily Squad. Uh, what up? What's poppin'? 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 Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all your post notification bells. Follow me on all social media platforms at Essence of Shay. If you're not already, please sign up for my newsletter. I have a whole bunch of new products out. I have more to come. The store is expanding. We are turning into a lifestyle brand, sis, or queen, or king. What you doing? So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about a question that I've been getting a lot, mainly on my Instagram. And it's about um, your locks being too dry and no matter what you do it just stays dry if it feels brillo it you know what i mean um so one thing for certain if you i want you guys to do a test right now so take your hair and just like tug it behind your ear so when you tug it behind your ear what does it sound like of course you're gonna get a little bit of dryness because the rest of your locks is essentially dead um so yes but if it's really just loud like crunchy you know how a brillo pad sounds if it sounds like that you are your hair is dehydrated you're not moisturizing your hair at all so one of the things you can do is you guys already know what i'm going to say is drink water now a lot of times people think that water doesn't really do much for your hair, but just like how it takes care of your skin, helps it to glow, um, helps you with that chappy lips, helps your nails to get stronger, the same goes for your hair. So you want to step up your H2O consumption. I suggest drinking the minimum four bottles a day four of those 16 ounce bottles a day because people know those um pretty well right the next is all products aren't made equally meaning what might work for me might not work for you so though i can give you advice about the products to use unfortunately a lot of times it's trial and error but i know three things that usually work for everyone and those three things are distilled water, rose water, and aloe vera juice or water or however you call it, right? Those three things for sure help. I don't I haven't heard anyone having issues with those. If you're one of those who do, please leave it in a comment box below because I'll be very interested to hear about it. But yes. The cool thing about it is, is those ingredients are you can find in my lavender hair spritz. So if you wanna go ahead and go buy that, there you go. I say lavender hair spritz is not soaked in lavender. There's a few drops, but lavender has some good benefits for the hair. And if you feel like your hair cannot take lavender, but you still wanna place an order, let me know, and then I'll take the lavender out just for you right coolio next thing is is that you guys are not wrapping your hair at night like dead ass you really are not wrapping your hair it's bad enough it goes through all the elements throughout the day but the fact that you just go to bed with nothing on the top of your head and then expect your hair to be super moisturized nah sis so you have several options either you get a silk or satin pillowcase and you could go to bed just so or you can get a silk or satin do-rag head tie bonnet whatever it is wrap your hair and go to bed a lot of times we are just too lazy to wrap our hair at night and i am i'm not judging anyone because i do it too um and then our hair is left 
for dead <laughs> like my friend says the thing about our locks is majority of it is dead so the new growth the moisture the health all of that comes from the root so if you're not taking care of the root of your hair which on the top your scalp the new all that if you're not taking care of that that kind of determines the trajectory of the rest of your hair the reason why my hair got thin at the length part is because even though it's dead that still is chemical that's going through the lock so it breaks it down right um but take care of your root and your scalp and the rest of your hair will be fine i need you guys to know that is so simple and so easy and straightforward that you got but you guys make it difficult you guys think that locks are the easiest style to have which it can be but don't let that be a reason why you neglect it and don't do what you would do before you had locks okay if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like a comment and subscribe i can talk to y'all in my car y'all um if you have any other ideas um on how people could help moisturize their lock and not have it sound like brillo pads leave it in the comment box below i love you guys so much for watching see you later tiger lilies uh, crash course let me hide the money in the dashboard max mad could you lost the brick inside the porch goofy with